second part of uh, the same experiment that is uh, experiment to draw inverted V curve inverted V curve uh, at load condition so now load is applied by using lamp load we are going to apply 200 watt load right and now once again the procedure remains the same here by, by varying the field wave state of synchronous machine we are going to vary the armature current and for different values of armature current we are taking the readings of all the meters now once again set the armature current at uh, 4 ampere by varying the uh, field resistance of synchronous machine and at this value let us note down all the meter readings so line voltage remains same that is 450 volt and uh, field current field current is 0.15 ampere then W1 and W2 W1 is minus 16 to 4 and W2 is 240 to 4 and now let us say VDC 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 is 260 volt IFG field current of DC generator is 0.4 ampere and uh, the load current DC load current is 0.8 ampere so once again here we can vary we can decrease uh, the resistance the field resistance of synchronous machine so that uh, the armature current goes on decreasing and at one stage the armature current reaches its minimum value and if we further decrease the uh, field resistance of a synchronous machine the armature current increases then by using the, uh, the, the readings the tabulated we can calculate the power factor by using the formula cos phi is equal to cos of tan inverse root 3 into w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2 then we can plot a graph of uh, uh, armature current AC armature current versus DC field current and the power factor versus DC field current if we plot the graph of power factor versus DC field current we can get the inverted V curve so in this way we can plot V curve and inverted V curve by conducting this experiment at load and no load, at load and no load, uh, no load condition.